Pyro, and you're watching my sick, sick, sick world, and we're gonna uh, look at stuff that I'm obsessed with, and that you should be obsessed with as well. So stay tuned for sick and weird. My favorite Renaissance man, who. Uh, was the very first, literally, one, a human being that was the dividing line between the old <clears throat> and the and the modern, new me type of person. His name is Ron Haydock. He looks just like Gene Vincent, and he was uh, had a band called Ron Haydock and the Boppers, <clears throat> and uh, they were a really great rockabilly band. And uh, he was also involved in fandom. And uh, in those days, that meant publishing fanzines and getting together at conventions, um, science fiction mainly. And uh, the king of that whole world, who the person who practically invented that stuff, is Fari Ackerman, who was uh, lived in Hollywood and. He's the guy who invented the term sci-fi and who uh, made famous monsters of Filmland magazine. In the late 50s, here's a great one with Zachary on the cover, my other idol, one of the first uh, horror hosts. And, uh, Kids and all people flocked to this magazine. It was the first magazine of its kind. Um, so Ron Haydock made a lot of friends, including Fari Ackerman and another guy named Don Glute, who I'll get to in a minute. And uh, he came to LA to do his band and to see what you can get into and possibly act and whatnot. And he. Uh, of course, met Fari Ackerman, the publisher of this, <clears throat> and uh, Fari felt like that he was met himself, you know, as a young man, uh, and really liked Ron. And then he hired him to edit some of the uh, features, possibly even in this magazine itself, in in the magazine. Um, but. Ron had a big head and Ron decided to start a, his own magazine which is kind of similar to this uh, and it hurt Fari Ackerman's uh, feelings and they didn't really speak again for a while after that. Um, there was a thing in here called the Graveyard Examiner, I believe, and uh, you can have Zachary in your own home, six feet tall. <laughs> See, back in those days, kids idolized monster men, <laughs> and that's why the 60s was the way it was, because uh, when people like me held to that, though. <laughs> I was in this magazine way later. Um, there's things in here that you see all the time, all of these, uh, you know, these monster masks that they sell that people have been making t-shirts and things of all through the years. Um, so Ron Haydock came 
through LA, worked on the magazines, made his own magazine, made some enemies. There's a great issue that is still available of Kix Magazine, which if you don't know you guys, Kix Magazine is considered to be the greatest rock and roll fanzine of all time. Kix Magazine was put out by Billy Miller and Miriam Linna, and Kix Magazine morphed into Norton Records. So basically, Norton Records is a record with the endless genius uh, liner notes, which is what started out as these this great magazine. There's an amazing Ron Haydock rundown by Miriam in here. Um, that is just incredible about all his stuff. Um, I was a teenage mad mummy. <laughs> Here's the magazine he put out that I've been looking for. Fantastic Monsters of the Films. Um, you know, there's all of these. Uh, he was also known as Lonnie Lord. He, which I'm getting ahead of myself, but uh, he came to Hollywood and he met Ray Dennis Steckler, among other like crazy Hollywood people, and Ray Dennis Steckler was making all these crazy movies. Um, he had made a movie called The Incredibly Strange Creatures Who Stopped Living and Became Mixed Up Zombies. Open your eyes, Jack. Look at the weed. Look at the beautiful spinning wheel. See how it spins. And they became friends. That was reissued. Incredibly Strange Creatures was reissued as Teenage Psycho Meets Bloody Mary. <laughs> Where they had people with uh, Ray Dennis Steckler starred in these movies that, under his own false name of Cash Flag, and he would uh, have people with his masks of his face running through the audience at certain points in the film and like attacking people and stuff. <laughs> this is an earlier Steckler film called The Thrill Killers that was really for the maniacs are loose. So scary, you're so terrified, we dare you to see The Maniacs Are Loose, loose, loose. the world's first horror movie made it hallucinogenic hypnovision. Hallucinogenic horrors not only on the screen, but in the audience, all around you. It's a hallucinogenic nightmare. You are put in the middle of the picture with bloodthirsty maniacs all around you. Not only on the screen, but live maniacs in the audience, all over the theater, looking for victims. Homicidal maniacs escape from an asylum. They terrorize a community. Gullible, love starved women become their prey. And you'll see these same bloodthirsty. bloodthirsty maniacs all around you. Not only on the screen, but live maniacs in the audience. Heads chopped off before your eyes. <laughs> Here's a very rare and incredible Screaming Lord such poster that just happens to be rolled up with it. Um, Uh, so they became friends, and they decided, and they started working on a movie that was gonna, that wound up accidentally being called Ratfink, a oh, boo boo. It was supposed to be called Ratfink and Boo Boo, like Batman and Robin. Ratfink and Boo Boo, masked men dedicated to fight crime and preserve justice. Look, Boo Boo, young lady in distress. Won't somebody help me? Me first, Ratfink. Go, Boo Boo. I'll park the rat sickle. Oh. Take that, Mr. Crook! Oh! But the guy who did the titles uh, read it wrong and screwed it up, and there was, it was too expensive to redo, so they just changed the name of the movie to Ratfinka Boo Boo. Uh, and it's a great movie, that, and Ron Haydock is Ratfink. He changed his name for that to Lonnie Lord, um, and actually recorded the Ratfink theme song. Uh, which is a re-recorded version of an old Ron Haydock and the Boppers song um, called Bop Hop Rat Fink. He was a rat. 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 
they are still in need. You, I must be nuts. She, I still love you. I've got the word for you because it's what you will do. You is a rat. You is a rat. You is a rat. Fink. Rat. Fink. This is a job for you know and who. Awesome. And here you can see Lonnie sings and Rat Fink swings. From Kicks Magazine, and they did live appearances at supermarkets, <laughs> of which I just got the footage of. I have this footage. So Ron Haydock, uh, here is it's a ma ma masks from the movies of the, the guys who run through the audience. Um, again from Kicks magazine, and uh, he was kind of uh, troubled, I guess you could say, and uh, he had a lot of problems, and he was going back and forth, and. You know, he did a lot of jobs on interesting, weird little things that he could get, and, and uh, a friend of his told him that he could write uh, adult. There was a big, you know, uh, a lot of these guys were writing these crazy adult, pre-porno, but you know, adult sex sort of novels. And um, here's a whole bunch. He wrote under a bunch of different names, but mainly under the name Vin Saxon. So Ron Haydock, you know, figured, hell, he'll start writing these books. He could write like crazy. He was really good at that, and it paid decent, I guess, at the time. Some of the, there's some of them are just incredible. Uh, uh, he works in the name of his old band, like so many times in all of these books. They're going out to see the boppers, you know, like and he drops funny names and, and references monster movies and there's so much stuff in these books that make it so funny and worth reading and in between the sex parts it's just like insane, like uh, tons of stuff that me and friends of mine are obsessed with, which is incredible. This is, the cover's ripped, but this is the Sexarinos. <laughs> by Vin Saxon, which is uh, Ron Haydock's main writing name. One of the most popular ones um, is this little humdinger called Ape Rape. <laughs> Ape Rape. <laughs> which was then a little bit much, so they re-released it. It was in such demand as caged lust. <laughs> and you have to be on acid to read the back of this book. <laughs> and decipher what it says for yourself. Uh, this is such a great one. The Flesh Peddlers. Oh, I have the other version of it too, but alright, we won't go there. Um, this was also reissued under another title, which I have in the other room. Um, this is another name of Ron Haydock's Don Shepard. Six for Sex. Back to the Vin Saxon name. Pagan Lesbians, everybody. <laughs> uh, is there any other kind? From Ron Haydock to Donald Glute. Uh, kind of cool. They would send these little postcards that everyone can read. <laughs> uh, Friday, 10th of August, 62. Dear Don, fantastic. Most of the films number one is in the mail to you. Sky Altitude, which is a character that uh, 
Ron Haydock made up, is a figment of my imagination, and thus more or less an inside joke. Adam Man cereal, fine with me for Shazam. Number two, sorry, I never knew there was a Blue Beetle radio program, so I can't tell you who starred in it. I think you'll find the prehistoric article in our magazine 100% better than Ackerman's. We'll of course appreciate your comments on the issue. Um, and they were sending photos back and forth and stuff, and he's referring to some photos. Notice the Little Richard LP in one of your pics you sent. Uh, I gather you too go for the old school of rock and roll. Richard, Vincent, Haley, Perkins, etc. Thanks for picks. We'll try to use some of them in future issues. So it's kind of like, you know, they were bonding on rock and roll while putting out monster magazines and in 1962. In 1962, he was calling it the old school of rock and roll when there wasn't even oldies yet, really. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's so bizarre. Like, I, I just, you know, you look at this stuff and it really is like uh, the unknown, true, true history of, of all this stuff that's going on and now you know and it's so amazing the fan scenes that they would put out were really like i mean this is the cover of one and this is uh he did um it's really strange how how uh they were so aware of what they were doing that um this is actually um, let's see here. WCZ is West Coast Zines, and they formed like a mafia kind of, you know, and there's different ones around the country in different places of all the people that put out all the different zines. And this is Ron Haydock made a, um, like a bibliography of all the fanzines that all everyone put out and this is like all the issues and every title and every issue and uh, it's kind of interesting that they were uh, kind of historically uh, keeping track of what they were doing and stuff and it's funny now because probably only 10 people on earth are aware of, of that stuff you know it's kind of amazing that's it for today's little lesson, <laughs> it all fits together. This is the part of all of this stuff that that has always intrigued me, that, that keeps me going and looking and finding, is that all of this stuff winds up, in the end, being related. Um, and uh, just, just knowing that is incredible to me, that people were sort of contemplating the things that I'm now contemplating and they were doing that like before I was born you know and they were rocking and rolling and monstering and yeah, going to movies and being weird and doing all this stuff um, you know that I picked up on naturally without anyone telling me it was cool or anything it was just something that like them, you know, grabbed me by the heart and it just found its way into my life. So, you know, it's just very, very cool and, and to know the history of these people and, and keep putting it out there <clears throat> so people know because there's not a lot of information about these people on earth in the world, you know. So, uh, that's my 12 cents. <laughs> Good night, whatever you are! <laughs>